I'm Kimmy here. Today we're going to keep working on this pinball machine, part 1 billion. So here's our list. So we need to wire the fans, install the plunger, install the amp and speaker wires, install the surround sound, uh, install the TV power and HDMI cables, the ground effects lights, the addressable LEDs and the fuses. So these last two we can do later. I'd like to get through as many of these as we can today because I'm ready to get this thing rolling. So I think we're going to start with the plunger and the fans maybe. I got this ribbon cable in the mail. It took forever because the auction guy lied about where it was coming from so it came from overseas rather than Pittsburgh. But we got it in the end so Let's see what we can do. We're missing some bolts for the plunger that I guess I never got. So we'll put that on our list of endless things to buy and endless trips to the store and start on something else. All right, so we got the fans wired. See, there's a little deal there going to the whatever. And then it goes back to those two and then there's wire that goes up into the fan in the back box so we got that done and then we got our exciters mounted but we ran into another freaking snag because I ran out of screws again so I don't have any screws to mount the little amplifiers here I've got to do four of them wherever they decide to go I don't know figure I'll put the exciters up here maybe the subwoofer so I can get to it and then the speakers we'll put in the back box so that we don't have noise from all the wires headed back there. But I need screws for this. So that's on our list. Uh, so we can't do much without that. So I guess I'm going to start working on the under cab lights. Sorry for the bad angle, but this is like the last time I'm crawling my old ass under here. So there's the gear motor. We installed a while ago our fan. I'm gonna clean that up a little bit, but here's our LED strips. Had a little more, so I made another loop here. Maybe make it a little brighter. And Mr. Fosgate. They seem to be sticking pretty well. So hopefully they stay. And this is too. I didn't want to cut it off for some reason maybe i'll add to it but gotta keep it up or our little friends will tear them off i gotta hook up the power wire but the others are hooked into this connector i made a long time ago this is for the power which is black which is weird you'd think it would be a different one but it's a little misleading all right let's keep going all right, we got these mounted, which I th think I may have said. We went back here and made a giant rat's nest. I uh, hooked up all the power cords for all four monitors and the cables for three of them. I forgot to order, I ordered two when I need three. Uh, display port to HDMI. So I hooked up that one and that one. This is a HDMI to HDMI and the play field needs a another one. But I ordered it. It'll be here probably this week sometime. Only like 10 bucks. Alright, here's our wires to our fan. So like I said, we got those, we got the, these, these, I hooked up, installed the, whatever that is, converter board for the LED screen here. I had to move this, it was up here, so I had to unwire, undo some of these wires. So that's all working. Uh, I forgot to put this screw back. I might do that real quick, just so it's not flapping around. I guess it's not really needed. I can just take it out of there. Anyway, 
Let's go over here and look at this. So I made a list. These are my a few fuse boards, resistor board and the fuse board. And these are my contactors, which I'm going to have to test because I'm not exactly sure which one's which. And there's, I don't know, I couldn't get the continuity to work for some reason. It just charges the coil. Anyway, so these are the contactor fuse spots, gear motor shaker, chimes, repeating bell, which actually I didn't install because there's not really any tables that use it. Beacons, the bells, or the bell and knocker in the back box, and the two fans. And I went through and picked out the fuses that I think I'm going to need. And I took this list that I made and modified as I built and put it back in order so I could find stuff. So now I'm going to go dig out that box of fuses I got and make sure I actually have all these. Let's figure out where I put it. Anyway, that's the video for this time. We're going to list. So this is what we got. So we installed the ground effects or under cab, whatever. We wired up the fans. We got most of this done, except I need one more cord. The plunger, I need some bolts. These, I need some screws. These are actually in, I just need to, this is kind of the same thing. This I need to put the cab together for and have the computer running so I don't screw it up. And then the fuses, like I said, we were working on. So we'll get those in, fix these last two things, and then we'll test everything and hopefully get to play. Anyway, thanks for watching. Keep it real. Wish me luck for next time, and we'll see you later.